Hi, Mrs. Pat here. And today I'm gonna to show you how to use wet dry try on the chalkboard that I sent you. This is an improvised chalkboard. I made it out of construction paper and I spray painted it with um, sticky um, Elmer's spray glue, couple coats. It makes it waterproof and it turns it into a chalkboard. I showed you on the other video how to use it for practicing capital letters. And today I'm going to show you how to use it for the double lines paper. Now, with this double line paper, the reason why Handwriting Without Tears uses double lines is because it simplifies the line and it makes it less visually distracting. Um, especially children that have visual figure ground difficulties, all the different lines can be confusing for them. But on this type of lined paper, this area at the top is what we call the tall space. The space between the two lines is called the small space. And the space underneath it is called the fall space. So in the top space, you're going to have letters like your capital letters. So here's like an F. And the small space would be for lowercase letters that are in the, the smaller, not tall, lowercase letters. And then the fall space would be for descending letters. And that's the word fog. So when you're using this paper, it's good to have it be for like writing somebody's name. Um, so say your child's name is Chris. You as the parent would go and you'd write the child's name. Make sure you're using the correct spaces. And what they're going to do is they're going to come along and they're going to use a wet sponge or a cloth. And they're going to go and you want to make sure they're doing the letters in the right direction. Like dive down, swim up and over for R, little C, little curve. And then they're going to go back and they're going to do the dry part. So that was wet, now we're doing dry. And they're going to go along and they're going to do the letters to dry. Make sure that you have them do it in the direction of the letters and not like rub it like that to dry it. If it's still a little bit wet after they do the try, then just have the two of you blow on it hard until it dries. Now you notice there's still, you can still kind of see the letters there, but that's exactly what we want because then it gives feedback for your child to go back and rewrite those letters and that kind of guides them and how this works is it allows your child to practice the letter formation by doing wet dry and try and that builds motor memory this is also great for teaching cursive letters for older kids so if you had a signature in cursive, you do the same thing and they can learn their cursive letters. So the reason why I like using chalkboards are because it gives more feedback to the fingers so they develop motor memory easier. And then when you're all done, you just erase the chalkboard. If you already have your own chalkboard, you can use that too. I just used a silver Sharpie and you can use silver Sharpies on chalkboards too and it stays on. But it's a really nice way if you had chalkboard paint, you can spray a spot on the wall and your child could work there. You can spray a clipboard with chalkboard paint, and that works just as well. So hope you have fun doing that activity. Have a good day.